Alrighty, what's up guys? It's Toothless Raider here, also known as Crazy Old Hermit in LBN Online. And I'm making a video to show you guys how to put your LBN Online mini-map onto your second monitor. I'm currently using a ultra-wide 3440x1440p 120Hz monitor as my main monitor. And then I have a 240Hz 1920x1080p secondary monitor that I use to put my mini-map on. Now, I will include screenshots in the description below showing both monitors. And I can later on do a video on the phone if you want because it's hard to record both screens with my uh, capture software. So what I'm going to do first is open up Streamlabs OBS. And if you're wondering why I do this, I game from a recliner, a lazy boy chair. So it's kind of hard for me to sometimes see the ping. And my guildmates are always telling me I need to be able to see the ping. So this way I can see it. But anyways, I'm starting from scratch. So you're going to want to create a new scene. Assuming you don't have any, you would just create one. So now from here, you're going to want to first open up your game. And hopefully this should still show my, the main uh, screen. I guess I'll find out when I watch it myself and see if I got to do it again. But okay. So now that we have that, we are going to come back to OBS. You want to click New Source, and you want to click on Game Capture, Add Source. You now want to add the source. This right here is the game. We're going to enter the world so you can see it. And now what we want to basically do is we don't want to capture all of this. We want to capture just this little mini map. So what you have to do is hold your left alt key and then drag this over like so. Then drag it from up here. Damn. Drag nice. it down. I basically try to make it as neat as possible. Once I have it where I want it, I then right click on it go to, down to um, transform and you want to center on screen and now from here you can hold the left shift key actually you know what no we don't even want to do it that way hang on let me undo where's my undo option at there you go so now what you're going to want to do instead is right click, go to transform, and you want to, after you have it centered, you want to fit the screen. Now that you have it fit the screen, you're going to want to right click it once more and create output projector. This will create a new tab right here. And this right here is what you would then drag to your other monitor. You would open it up. And it will actually look like this right here. And now this is where I would basically need to uh, record on my cell phone to show you. Because I can't actually have the game open and show you that at the same time. So I will add a link in the description to a second uh, video from my cell phone. But for the moment we're going to drag this over to my other monitor and put that in there. And now we are going to go back to OBS, and I'm going to go one step further to customize my LBN experience. There's a little program called LBN Stats Online, or LBN Online Stats. I'm not the maker of the program. There's tutorials on how to use it. All I can say is that it is allowed by the developers. There's a post saying so. So now that I have this, I want to click on New Scene again. But now I want to go to Window Capture, Add Source, Add Source. Now I'm going to select Python WEXE LBN Online Stats and Done. Now we are going to right click on it and we want to center on screen. Right click on it, fit to screen. Now we're going to hold the left shift and drag it down, 
drag it up. Okay, that doesn't look right. So we're going to right click on it and undo and undo. So instead this time we are going to hold the left alt and drag it up, drag it down. So basically this only works when you enter a new zone. So give me a second here. I'm going to enter into a new zone real quick. I was uh, refining earlier when I was here and I had logged off. So let's go ahead and get out of this zone. Okay, perfect. So the reason I had to get out of the zone is I wanted to be able to see how much I need to cut and crop. So as you see right here, my overall shows the weapon I have, how much fame I've made, how much fame per hour. Because I want to minimize as much as this is possible. Hang on. Let me undo that again. Okay, so you're going to want to hold left alt and then drag it down to how much ever you want to show. Like we don't need all of that excess crap being shown on screen. So I'll crop that. We're going to crop it up to there, say. Right there, we're gonna bring this up. Now also, this, can, this program is great for showing group party damage and whatnot. But I just want to know about my personal stats, so here we go. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to move this directly over the map name. Because I don't really need to see my map name. But as you see, it's still a little bit too big right there. So now I'll hold my left shift and I can actually push it down slightly that'll distort it a little bit but because you're using a second monitor it'll be fine I'm actually gonna bring this other sc screen back over now so you can see how it looks so as you see it shows the little mini map it shows the overall how much time I've been on since the program been open fame now, also, you see it says full screen display 2, 3440 by 1440, display 1, 1920 by 1080, because those are the two different resolutions. But, and the minimap is fine, it's just this program's a little bit distorted, because I dropped it down so I could see more of the minimap. So now I just go ahead, put that onto the second monitor, and I go ahead and expand it. If it opens up on the same monitor as your game, just hit Alt, Shift, and left tab over, I mean left arrow key over. And while I'm talking on this video, I'm gonna fire up my cell phone real quick and take a video so I can show you guys who end up watching the video. Okay, so I'm recording it now on my cell phone just for, uh, tutorial purposes. This will have to be part two because I don't have any editing software. I'm going to keep clicking, left clicking on my mini map here. And as you can see right here on the other monitor, it's actually working. I'm going to click different locations and now I'm going to start moving and you'll see the mini map is moving as well. You see my arrow icon. So yeah, this is how you get Albion Online to work on a second monitor as far as the minimap. So I got the minimap with the damage meter, and I have my main monitor right here. Anyways, if this has helped you out in any way, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys are looking for a guild, Guardian Pack is recruiting, and we are Discord active. Have a good one. Okay, phone's done, and now to end the main video. Hope you guys like it.